What if you could build your professional brand amongst other professionals? What if you could get information about uh, who is actually interested in your offer, in your business, in what you are sharing, do it regularly and at the same time have fun with it? LinkedIn is a platform that you can definitely leverage if you are aiming to grow your business, if you are working with other professionals in the same industry or in other industries, or if you are just looking to foster relationships with people that have established their businesses, that are in the progress of making their own businesses, I think LinkedIn is a definitely a place to go. In today's video, I'm going to cover some of the subjectively, of course, important aspects of your LinkedIn profile and what you can do in order to either find a better job or build your online professional CV that will go along with you for years to come in your career or to build a brand that will establish your credibility amongst other professionals, business owners and decision makers in different organizations. So the first thing that is visible after someone gets on your LinkedIn profile is of course your profile picture and your background picture. And these two, in my opinion, should uh, create a duo that will be aligned with your business strategy. So if you are working with kids, maybe you should be dressed like a clown. If you are offering uh, yoga retreats, maybe being in a yoga asana on this profile picture or in the background picture would make sense. But if you are offering financial advice, then wearing a suit tie and having a background picture on which you are, for example, speaking at a conference or having conversation with your clients in a professional setup, or maybe that informs about what is that you do might be a good idea. Try to make it aesthetically appealing, try to make it interesting so someone can feel invited to your profile, to your world, and at the same time, try to keep it consistent with your goals and your brand. Another element that is worth looking at is having a consistent message. So telling people on your LinkedIn profile after they will scroll down from your picture, what is that you do? What is your aim in business? What are you looking to achieve? And so on and so forth. This might be a pretty good idea. Try to be consistent, try to be as uh, honest as possible uh, and not beat around the bush because if I found one thing to be true uh, after I think a decade of activity on LinkedIn uh, is that people on LinkedIn do not like uh, bullshit. So uh, try to be honest and that's all. Another great element on LinkedIn profile is the featured section. So in featured section you can sort of pin your most important posts or the things that you would like to highlight to your audience. In my case I have linked to my YouTube channel, I have a link to our website and I also have a couple of recommendations from my past clients or people that I have professionally interacted with or collaborated in the past highlighted. In this way I'm achieving two things, actually three. First and foremost, I build my credibility because people see that other professionals are recommending me. All of the studies show that people like to read reviews and get uh, to look at recommendations or references from others. Now, the second thing is that I can point people to the channel that is important for me or to the actual place in which they are able to convert to my email subscription or become leads, so convert after filling the form, which is my website. So uh, in your case, this can be a link to your Calendly, this can be a link to your freebie or any other thing that uh, in your opinion is important to get more customers, to get people to uh, trust you further and start building the online relationship with you. If this video is so far interesting for you, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. And moving further down your profile and down the topic of this video is your professional experience. So don't be shy about what have you achieved. Don't get shy about the projects that you were engaged in, even if they are nonprofit or even if there were pro bono projects or educational things. People on LinkedIn like to see you as you are and all of the people I think to see 
each other as they are and describing your professional experience telling people about the things that you are engaged in your let's say spare or personal time might be a good idea so any voluntarily experience anything that you can cover is also uh, good to add there uh, but other than that describing the path of your career describing some of your achievements some of the things that you were able to do or execute in your past jobs or um, experiences is a good idea to also improve your credibility and uh, show people that you are actually professional within your area of expertise. And uh, further down your profile, you have skills and recommendations. And this, as I mentioned before, works great as a credibility boost. If you add your skills and then ask a couple of your ex-colleagues or a couple of people that you have collaborated in the past, or maybe you are collaborating with currently, to endorse those skills will help show your profile as the one that actually knows a thing or two about the topic uh, that you are interested in, that you, topic that you would like to uh, cover in your professional life. And that can be HR, that can be direct sales, like in my case, that can be marketing strategy, like in my case, different various things you can add there as your skills in order to help people understand better what is that you do and how you do. And of course, same goes for recommendations. So rec Recommendations can help you improve your credibility even further by asking people for recommendations. You are actually asking for the review of your professional performance. How you can do it? Similarly, all of the people that you have collaborated with, maybe your ex-bosses, maybe um, ex-project managers that you have worked with, anyone that can help you boost your credibility and anyone that can help to endorse your skills or appreciate you can add something like that to your profile. I build a habit over the years of asking people from time to time for a recommendation. So each and every time I was leaving one job and going to another one, I was asking either my direct manager or a boss or an owner of the company to write me a recommendation. And also people that I have collaborated with over the years, I have regularly asked them to write me a recommendation on my profile. And right now I have I don't know, two dozens of them or something like that. This can help you over the years and you don't have to rush this. You can do this slowly but surely over the longer period of time. And the last great feature on LinkedIn, which I think is only available for premium subscribers, but I think that premium on LinkedIn is actually worth it is the book and appointment feature. So you can create a sort of a link under your profile picture that will enable people to click it and to book an appointment with you through a Calendly, through Microsoft Bookings or any other type of software that you are using for scheduling the appointments. This can uh, help you a great deal because uh, not everyone will feel comfortable with DMing you. People are sometimes being shy on LinkedIn like on any other platform. Sometimes they just have a different preference and I think that giving people this ability to book a call with you directly can also position you as someone that is open to have conversations, open to a network, open to expand their professional network by getting to know other people. And I think this, this, this just brings a lot of credibility on LinkedIn. I don't know if you have anything that you would like to add to things that are useful on LinkedIn profile. I'm more than happy to hear about them in the comment section down below. If this video was helpful to you and if you are aiming to build your presence on LinkedIn or you are looking to maybe boost things up a bit or improve them a little bit, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help, answer or to, you know, just discuss uh, these things. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.